My name is Holger Stark from the Max Planck Institute in, in Göttingen. Our institute is working on biophysical um, chemistry approaches. Uh, there is scientists working on basic chemistry, structural biology, up to gene development. So it's a very diverse uh, institute. I am personally working on the structural biology field. Uh, we try to determine three-dimensional structures of large macromolecular complexes that we isolate from cells and uh, we try to determine the three-dimensional structure, making use of electron cryomicroscopy. Since we look at, at very large macromolecular complexes, the cryo-EM has a unique um, capability of looking at molecules in solution. And uh, those large molecules we look at are mostly very difficult to um, be studied by other techniques such as X-ray crystallography or uh, NMR. Uh, for most of those uh, applications, the, these large systems are too big and it's very difficult to get crystals, for example, for large macromolecular assemblies. We use cryo-EM because we can basically use that as a technique to embed our molecules in the native buffer environment. There's nothing else needed than the normal buffer system they would probably have in a similar way also in the cell and uh, that is the best possible way of getting data of macromolecular complexes and this gives us obviously very very good preservation of the structure and the means to get high resolution reconstructions at the end a routine operation of the instruments and also the computers can help you to uh, get a very high throughput in, in, in data acquisition but also in, in structure determination and thus uh, one can possibly reduce the, the, the cost for each structure tremendously. We can also determine features that cannot be studied by, by X-ray crystallography and that is the dynamics of large macromolecular systems. So while we uh, in X-ray crystallography you get mostly one structure, one high resolution structure, um, we can determine high resolution structures but in addition we can see the dynamic behavior of these large macromolecules in solution and that is very helpful to get a, an understanding of the molecular function of those macromolecular complexes. Thanks to the latest developments in, in uh, how one prepares sample and how one freezes sample, how one can record automated uh, image acquisitions and run run the microscope over several days on a single single sample uh, without any decay in, in, in resolution and signal quality. Uh, this allows us to do now things that we could have even thought about in, in uh, 10 years ago. Uh, so we can do marvelous things now and uh, thus it will also be uh, much easier for uh, people to get to their 3D structures of the macromolecules they are interested in in, a, in, in, in much less time and uh, that will also reduce the costs of uh, the structure determination by cryo-EM tremendously.